Do the hilly vlogs so you can enjoy those most of the video. Make sure you come back every day. Oi! It's sunny and beautiful out, and we took Eve for a morning walk. But we forgot our sunglasses. A first is taking place today. Jamesy is going to go on a run with Peter. Let's see. So our city mini is is a running stroller. The front wheel locks so that it's like thick scarf. Got straight. shorts on? I don't know if he's worn. He hasn't worn shorts in a while. So it's just so nice out. Yeah. And you know, like, that gives you like, just quiet time too. Well, I'm probably going to, well, I'm editing, and then I'm going to work in their room to do the boys' clothes. I've been like inching, so yeah. I, I'm going to do that. But if you're back in 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, we're either going to be gone for like 40, or we'll be back in 10 minutes because this was another failure. <laughs> it's weird that like, I have a bunch of stuff in my pockets. I don't bring my arm band, I'm not going to listen to music because I don't want to. I want to be able to hear him. Yeah. But like I have stuff in my pockets because I can put it in the stroller. Yeah. It's really weird. He's been such a Lion King kid lately. Again, like Toy Story. It's nice that there's a bunch of movies and a TV show. I'm calling my, my friend Steve, my buddy Steve from Tampa out. I texted him like 10 minutes ago asking for any stroller running advice. Because I know he's done Ask Carolyn. All right, so I think... thing here. Go ahead like that. Yep, now that wheel, front wheel is locked straight. So now we should be ready to go. You ready to go for a run? A couple miles? This city is alive today. So look at all these people out. Enjoying the beautiful weather. All right. Better view of the skyline, how gorgeous it is. James is asleep. Just hitting two miles, about to turn around and knock out two more. I will say, I didn't anticipate my like arm groove being thrown off so much, but also it's super windy. And this whole stroller is just catching all that wind. So, learning, first time ever doing it. So, if you have any suggestions or hints, put them down below, please. And we're like 3.6 miles. James is still asleep. Um, it's been fun. It's so warm. Yeah, I can't believe it snowed earlier this week, and it's going to be 80, almost 80 today. Um, I'd say run's going well. The hardest part is the wind, which you can't really do anything about that. But it's been good. I was nervous because it isn't like a full fledged running, but it is a running. But it's not as like, it's curated for more than one thing. One of the things being running, compared to a, a solo that's just for running. But I'm leaving the lakefront, get, getting back to my neighborhood to finish off this last half mile. Just like that. Four miles done at a 10.49 pace. Um, better than a win with all the wind. First time stroller, stopping for traffic. I don't stop my watch when I get stopped by traffic because there's just so few stops between us and the lakefront where there's no traffic. But James fell asleep, he's still asleep now. He was asleep for like three of the four miles, so good to know for the future. Maybe that'll be a trend. So the boys are back. I did not get anything done in their bedroom just got the vlog up sometimes like it always just takes a little bit longer than you think it is um so instead i got ready we're just gonna enjoy the day there is not another day like this in even within the next week tomorrow's temperature is gonna be good but i don't know the rain is iffy we also have cubs tickets tomorrow um so i just decided to get ready and instead of being productive we're going to go out and enjoy the beautiful weather downtown <laughs> peekaboo how was your run yeah i'm so happy you had a good time yeah when i got back we had some mail and i know i talked about ordering some stuff for teddy 
but I never said what I ordered. So here is the start of it. This is from Old Navy. Going through all the clothes, I realized like what I need. Um, I did get some hand-me-downs before from Christina that I needed to give back and just like sorting things out. Um, so yeah, here's that. This is not for Teddy, this is for Jamesy. But I mean, I also had learned this from like going through going through the clothes and refreshing the nursery like what James was in need of with him like growing out of his 12 to 18 month clothes so we got jammies a lot of jammies actually space jammies so cute they were having a nice big sale and then he got some joggers and jeans the clothes I got for Teddy are coming from Carter's because they were having a big sale too. So that's it. I think that he has one more pair of black pants coming. This isn't the greatest spot to show it, but there are so many people out and about today. It is 81 degrees, 81 degrees. Oh yeah, you can see more people now that we're stopped. You know what, we're just gonna leave Chicago. We're just gonna leave. Say what? The fountain is not on yet. Noted, we're right That's here. That's the true sign of it. That is the true sign of it being spring slash summer in Chicago. In a very random slew of events, we are headed to hang out with the Earhart's today. So, yeah, instead of spending this lovely day downtown like we were going to, we're gonna head to the other side of that lake. If only we could drive just across. <laughs> James and I just came downstairs, which has a bunch of toys. I came to ground to Smithix. But I think I'm gonna look at this later. I might even use this later, but whoo, look at this. Look at this. Delivered this week. I think I might have to try it out later. I don't think we've shown the Earhart's yet, unless maybe Sarah was walking. But this is their basement, and I have to yell at them because they have no right to have hung these beautiful pieces of art. Ugh, that's illuminations without telling me. Looks familiar? We have the same one. Jamesy, should we, you wanna go back outside? <laughs> or you like the basement? The basement kid? Okay, the Earhart's have brought next level jealousy. They have the whole Bluey set in the house. Yeah. You guys love Bluey? Yep, yep. We love Bluey and too. We also have Bluey and Bingo too. The beds? Yeah. What? Yep. So then they can sleep. Yeah, well, I'm gonna get that for Jamesy. I'm gonna order him the whole set too, I think. Yeah. I love that car. Mm -hmm. Check it out. St. Joe. Oh no, that's books in. Karen, watch out! At the beach now. Just took a little walk. It's very, very good. It's crazy that like I was on this lake this morning with James, and the sun was over here, and now I'm on this the same lake, and the sun's over there. Wild. But this is gorgeous. I don't know if river this is, but this is a river that comes out into the Lake Michigan. That's their famous like St. Joe Lighthouse. Hey, is this your beach? Nice. James fall asleep, which is kind of half the goal why I was coming here. Let's see it. One, two, three, go. Nice. Ready, set, go. Um, this is like straight up beach, but this is fresh water in the Midwest. This is wild. I'm sure there's a lot of people live here in Michigan. This is beautiful. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> <laughs> we attempted to build a lamp. We started doing a good job, but then the race came in. Kieran, what did we do wrong? All right, let's do it. Then we're gonna go fishing. We're not gonna go fishing. We're gonna grill. 
We're gonna play over there with the rest of the family. We're gonna go back and grill. We all have wands. That looks like kind of Belichick Lestrange. Stuck in the ground. Oh, should I try it? The ground's a little hard. It's kind of like mom's hug. <laughs> Didn't work. Oh, let's go climb up the mountain over there by Mountain Death. Yeah. That one over there. Goodbye, you beautiful, beautiful lake. We're going to go grill some food, right? Ben has some delicious sounding red meat that I might have to have a bite or two of. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> the internet got mad at me. <laughs> but I saw these steaks that he has, and they look very good. Steak. <laughs> singular. That's a single, That's singular steak? steak. <laughs> we, uh, we might have to. <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to. <laughs> but we might have to, though. We might have to. These girls are just so funny to him. Keep me happy. Keep me happy. All right, the girls came up with an idea to come downstairs and play. That's from school. wanted us to bring gummy bears. Nice. We got gummy bears. We got Kaylee magnets, and we got toys. This is, I knew. Katrina asked if you could go downstairs and play, and I said that's the perfect thing to get Jamesy to break out of his shell. Look. Hi. I made, this. I made that. That's a cool looking tree. You say please. All right, we got resort music on. We got some butter noodle. Doesn't it smell like summer? It does. Like the grill and mm -hmm. the pasta. Ben's getting the charcoal ready and the smoke. There's a tomahawk which he's about to put on. We got some brats. We're gonna have a little bit of not plant based tonight. We have some veggies. We got salmon. salmon going. Brats. We've got our vegan brats. We got. There's cold pizza in there, and I'm like, kind of hungry. What do we need? This is the cream de la cream. The cream de la cream. <laughs> we'll just flip it. It's snow. Let's just eat like that. Yeah. I would. Would you? Kieran versus Peter and Chess. Who is going to win? Peter. We're gonna play with these toys. Oh my gosh, they're alien swirling saucers. <gasps> Who won? Yeah. What'd you say? The 30 year old. <laughs> <laughs> James helped. Do you want some fries? Cordelia helped. Okay. Cordelia did help. She was with you the whole time. Bye -bye. We got salmon, got fries. Broccoli cauliflower action. Is this all going on the grill? Oh, uh, yeah. Yum. And the fries were hit. This was two bags, right? We can, we already yeah. finished and consolidated. Checkers fries, I'm telling you. And they're they're technically plant-based. Karen had a valiant second game. I did conquer him. Um, the little kids are asleep. I saw James. He needs a fresh diaper. Karen, you're about to whittle something, right? Yeah. And the rest of the adults are up there. The food's taking much later, but it's a fun kind of night for the smoking and grilling of the meats. And James loves these fries. Also, that made me a Manhattan with like authentic Michigan rye. Really good. Yes. <laughs> See, this is what happens. I go plant-based and I come to Ben's grilling expose. It's a meat fest. <laughs> this is the, the treasure right here. Look at that. <laughs> we do have our <laughs> James is his mom's son because he's thriving on a balcony. We need to get him a balcony. Oh, you found the car? Or are you gonna get him? Kieran, get Kieran. Just stupefy. <laughs> it sounded like he said it. Dad. Delicious. Ooh, perfect. Perfect. And we got roasted veggies. We got salmon. We got french fries. I'm impressed that we finished it. Not worse. We got brats. Where's the tomahawk then? Uh, Reveal it. <laughs> Did you say you're not worse? I like that. Oh, that is clever, Karen. That is the best piece of meat I've ever seen in my whole life. It's thick. 
All right, what's the logical thing to do at 11.20 at night? You start a fire when all the kids have gone to sleep. Well, asterisk, Sarah's putting James down. So as long as he cooperates, we're all gonna have, the adults are gonna have a little fire with the monitors on for the kids. Meat took a lot longer to grill, but hey, it's literally gorgeous out. It's gotta be like 65 with a little breeze. Literal perfect fire weather. Never question somebody making a fire, especially when they're an Eagle Scout named Ben. I would just toss gasoline to this and hope for the best. <laughs> I see technique, I see history, experience, all in this fire. That's it, that's all we're burning. <laughs> we're just gonna keep throwing paper on it. <laughs> Forty-five in the morning late. <laughs> so, that illuminations, reflections of that. We're gonna probably head out earlier in the morning to our boy. Might do brunch. Might so. do brunch. If not, just head out in the morning. Yeah, that's the plan. It's good to be home. Good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>